How happy some over other some can be. Through Athens I am thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. He will not know all but he do know. And as he errs, doting on Hermia's eyes. And I, admiring of his qualities. Oh, things base and foul, folding no quantity. Love can transpose to form and dignity. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind. And therefore is winged, Cupid painted blind. Nor hath love's mind of any judgment taste. Because love is said to unheedy haste. And love is said to be a child, because in choice he is so oft beguiled. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle towards my hand. Come with me, clutch me! I have thee not, but I see thee still. Art thou not full of vision, sensible to feelings as to sight? Or art thou a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding the heat of this breath? See the inform as powerful as the one as which I draw now. Thou marshalt me to where I was going, and as the instruments I was to use. My eyes are made full of the other senses, for it's worth all the rest. I see thee still. And on my blade in dudgeon gaps of blood which was not so before. There's not a thing, for it is the bloody business which informs thus my eyes. <gasps> Try you have done this! Is it a man? A neck, a chain, that will pull up his neck, change your colours! <gasps> I prithee, who is it? Oh Lord, oh Lord, is it a hard matter for friends to meet? Because mountains may be removed from outbreaks and so encounters! Nay, but who is it? Oh, it's impossible! Nay, I prithee now, tell me who it is! It has been decided Count Claudio will marry Leonardo's daughter. I know, my lord, but I can still ruin it. Any obstacle or impediment to Claudio's marriage will be like medicine to me. I am sick with anger towards him, and anyone who can spoil his happiness will improve upon my own happiness. Tell me, how will you do this? My lord, I can't do it without being dishonest, but I'll be so secretive that no one will suspect me. Quickly, tell me how. Remember, a year ago I told you about how much Hero's serving woman, Margaret, likes me. I remember. I can arrange for her to meet me at Hero's window at some indecent hour of the night. And how would this spoil their marriage? It's up to you to brew the poison with these ingredients. Go to the, your brother, the prince. Tell him how he has wronged Claudia's honour, who you respect greatly, by marrying him with some common prostitute like Hero. And how will this... How will I prove this? Now see that no more most sovereign reason, like sweet bells jangled out of tune and harsh, the unmatched form and feature of blown youth, blasted with ecstasy, oh woe is me, see what I see. These vows are Hermia's, will you give her I had no judgment when to her I swore. No, none in my mind, now you give her Demetrius loves her, and he loves not you. Oh, Helen, goddess new, perfect divine, to what my love shall I compare thine eye? Oh, spite! Oh, hell! I see you all bent to set against me for a moment, to vow and superprise my parts when I am sure you hate me with your heart. You are unkind, Demetrius. Be not so. For you love Hermia. This you know I know. Lysander, keep thy Hermia. I will none. If they are loved, all that love is gone. Thou art not by mine eye, Lysander, bound. Mine ear, I thank it, brought me to thy sound. But why unkindly did thou leave me so? Why should he stay? 
whom love doth press to go. What love could press Lysander from my side? Lysander's love that would not let him bide. Why seek thou me? Could not this make thee know? The hate I bear thee made me leave thee so. You speak not as you think. It cannot be. Lo, she is one of this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to bash in this false sport in spite of me. The jury is Hermia, most ungrateful maid. Is all the counsel we to have shared? The sisters' vows? Oh, is all forgot? And will you rend our ancient lover soon to join with men in scorning your poor friend? I scorn you not. It seems that you scorn me. Where shall we three meet again? Will it be in thunder, lightning, or rain? We'll meet when the hurly burly's done. When the battle's lost, I won. This will be the air of the set of sun. Where the place? Upon the heath. We'll meet Macbeth. Grey Malkin calls. Paddock calls. Anyon. Fair is foul, foul is fair. Hold through the fog and filthy air. If Sino Leonardo be her father, she would not have his head on her shoulders for all Messina as like him as she is. I wonder that you would still be talking, Signor Benedict. Nobody marks you. What, my dear Lady Disdain? Are you yet living? Is it possible Disdain should die while she has such meat food to feed it as Signor Benedict? Courtesy itself must convert to Disdain if you come in her presence. Then is courtesy a turncoat, but it is certain I am loved of all women, only you excepted. And I would, I could, find in my heart that I had not a hard heart, for truly, I love none. A dear happiness to women. They would else have been troubled with a pernicious suitor. I thank God and my cold blood. I'm of your humour for that. I'd rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man's where he loves me. God keep your ladyship still in that mind, so that some gentleman or other shall escape a predestinate scratched face. Scratching could not make it worse, and t'was such a face as yours were. Well, you are a rare parrot teacher. A bird of my tongue's better than a beast of yours. I would my horse have the speed of your tongue, and so good a continuer. But keep your way, I God's name, I have done. <laughs>